What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I'm reviewing a new camera bag by Tarion called The Zone. Now this is a pre-production model that they sent me to test out because they plan on doing a Kickstarter for this new bag. And there's a bunch of things that I like about it, a few things that I make some changes to. So we're gonna zoom in here and take a closer look of the exterior first, and then we'll jump on into the inside of the camera bag. So as we zoom in, you could see that they used a nice water resistant material for the camera bag, as well as the zippers, which is a nice touch for that added protection. Now, if it starts to rain really bad, they actually have a zipper compartment down here at the bottom of the bag, in which you could pull out a rain cover for even more protection from the rain, which is a great feature. And the quality of this bag is really nice. It is a little bit heavy and that's because it's you know full of padding. So I'm not too worried about the weight as long as my camera gear is well protected. That is my main concern. So very nice job with the quality compared to other bags. Now as we jump back up to the top of this bag, there is a retractable handle, which is really nice. So when it's not in use, you know, it springs back down and kind of keeps that low profile, sleek look, and you're less likely to snag it on anything. So I really like that. And as we move down the camera bag, we have these two zipper pockets. This one right here, if we open it up, it expands and it can hold a water bottle or some other camera gear. And then we got another smaller pocket right here on this side. This is very shallow. I would just use this for like a microfiber cloth or some memory cards, things of that nature. Something small and uh, very thin would go into this pocket right here. On both sides of this bag, we have some straps that are removable. So taking a look at this side first, this comes off, it's held on by a magnet, which is really nice if you don't use them, you could stow them away and hide them. My one gripe though is sometimes they do pop out. For example, when I do have this loaded up with a tripod and I put it into my car, sometimes this will catch on something and pop out. So hopefully they can make some type of locking mechanism, that way they don't pop out um, when you're using them. Now, when I was walking with this camera bag, I had no issues with it popping out. It was only when I was transporting it that I noticed it happened a couple times. Um, also on the side, we have an elastic band for this pouch that holds your tripod. Uh, the elastic band is nice because it helps keep that pocket slim and narrow when, when it's not in use. But when you do use it, it does expand open. And jumping to this side, we have another strap that's again held in by a magnet. It doesn't have another pouch on this side for a tripod or anything like that, but you could use this to hold a jacket or some other lightweight gear and just hang that from this strap right here. And if you're not using it, again, you could just stow it away nice and easily. So that's a really cool feature. Now, as we start to spin this around, we have another zipper pocket right here. Let me open this up. This is for your laptop. Now I was able to put a 15 inch Dell G7 laptop in here and it measures around 15.25 by 10 and a half inches. That went into here no problem. So um, very nice little laptop holder here. Moving along to the shoulder straps, they are a little thin in my opinion, so they could probably beef up the padding a little bit, but they do have a waist strap, so that will help alleviate some of that pressure off your shoulders if you are carrying a lot of gear. I also wish they had some type of uh, expanding pocket on the straps, maybe one to hold your cell phone on one side, and then on the other side, one that would expand to hold either a small water bottle or maybe some bear mace. That would be nice to see, just some type of an expanding pocket since they have expanding pockets on other parts of this camera bag. But that's just me you know, nitpicking a little bit. As we move further down, we have our waist straps, which do have pockets on both sides, but they are pretty shallow can't really get your phone in there. Um, pretty much this is good for like a snack or if you have some smaller camera gear like some extra memory cards or a microfiber towel, something like that could go into these little pockets here. They do remove very easily. We just have to click this button and they pop right off. So, so that is a very nice feature if you don't wanna use the waist straps, if you're not lugging around a bunch of heavy gear. Now let's move these shoulder straps out of the way so you guys can see the padding for your back. We have some nice thick padding for your shoulder blades and your spine. And because they stick out, you have these channels that run along this back, which allows for some airflow, which is very nice. And we also have some lumbar support padding right here as well. Also very nice. Moving further down this backpack, we have some of those magnet receivers here. And at first I was confused for what these were for. And then if we go to the other side of the backpack, I realized there's a hidden compartment here in which you could pull out straps. 
and they wrap around underneath the backpack and they will clip right in with their magnets. And now you can hang another tripod from the bottom of this bag, or you could even hang, you know, a tent or some camping gear. So you could use this for like an overnighter. I wouldn't do this on a long trek. Uh, I don't think it's a big enough bag, but you could definitely pull off, uh, you know, an overnight stay with uh, a tent hanging from the bottom of your bag. You got your tripod on your side, and then you could also put a sleeping bag inside the bag. So. A uh, very cool feature, and I again, I like that it just stows away and, and is very hidden and concealed, so that maintains that sleek look with this bag. So now let's jump to our side pocket here to access the interior of this backpack. So if you already have your camera set up, we have an access panel here on the side, so you just open this compartment up, and you could take out your camera right from here without going through the main compartment. Now they use this very unique modular system with these like kind of foam bubbles and it's a really cool rigid system. I'm so used to the padded um, dividers that have Velcro. I like these a lot better because they are more rigid and that will help maintain the form of the backpack, but it'll also help protect your camera from getting crushed. So I really like that. And it just is a really great modular system. They slide in and out very easily and they also have a clear uh, little pouch right here. This is removable. It's held in by Velcro. And you can change this out with other pouches that they have on the inside of this camera bag. So let's just close this up and open up the main compartment next. Now, as we open up the main compartment, you'll see that there's another camera bag here. This is great to you know store another lens or camera body or both. And that way, if, you know, if you're traveling, you check into your hotel, you could leave your whole camera bag there and just bring this smaller bag with you to walk around and take some photos if you don't need any other accessories. So the great thing about this little section right here is you could pull out the bag that they provide if you don't want to use it, and you can fill up this space however you want. You know, you can use it for camping gear like a sleeping bag or additional clothing. In my case, I was testing out this bag when doing real estate photography, and I was pleasantly surprised to see that my Mavic 2 Pro drone bag actually fit in here without any issues. So that way I could just pull out the drone whenever I needed it, and if I didn't have to carry it with me, I could take it out and not have that extra weight. So that was awesome that it all fit right in this section. Pulling out the modular system, we could take a closer look. We have a bunch of uh, pouches here that are Velcro attached. And we also have some smaller little pouches that are great for batteries. I like to separate them so that way I have my used and unused batteries and I can tell them apart a lot faster. And then we have these smaller clear pouches and they are great for some additional camera gear as well. Taking another look at the dividers, I set them up to fit my Nikon 14-24 2.8s lens attached to my Z6, and I still had enough room to fit another camera body and lens on the other side of this modular system. And the fact that it comes out is also great because you could use this camera bag completely empty to fill it up with clothes just for traveling normally without any type of photography gear. So um, it just has a lot of uses other than photography, which is an awesome feature. So overall, this is a very versatile bag, which could be slimmed down. So it doesn't look like a typical photography's bag. It has that nice sleek design, or you could actually load this up with a bunch of gear for those longer photography trips. So that's you know great to have that diversity with this bag. And I did nitpick about a few things that could be improved upon. And like I said, this is a early production model, so maybe they can make those changes. I'm not sure. Definitely follow Tarion, so that way you get updates for when they plan on doing the Kickstarter for this bag, so you could be an early bird and you know get a decent price for it. And I just want to say thank you to Tarion for letting me test out the zone backpack. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.